First step is download it. Second step is put it on a USB thumb drive. And then the third step is just plug that USB thumb drive into your screen. That's it. What's going on y'all, Rob here, Square Wheels Auto. So today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your automotive Tesla screen. Uh, so this is applicable for the AU Car Mark VI for the Infiniti Q50. This is applicable for the Nifty City screens. And this is also applicable for the Square Reels G series screens, which are coming to you soon for Infiniti Q50, Q60, for Infiniti G37, Nissan 370Z, Toyota 4Runner, and more models to come. We'll talk about that another time. Today, let's just talk about how to upgrade the firmware. So as these are all full Android devices, they do get shipped out with the latest and greatest software that's available at the time. But just like your phones and tablets and basically anything else that plugs in and lights up, there are going to be firmware upgrades. Now for these G-Series screens, I am working directly with AUCAR on collecting the common issues or features requests that happen to pop up inevitably every day, right? So they've got engineers and developers that tweak the code and fix the issues and build new features and all that. And whenever that is ready, they bundle everything up into a big file and then they release it for download. What happens is I download um, that file, I put it on my machines, I make sure it works well with you know my vehicle, there's no glitches or anything, and once I feel confident about it, I'll list it up on the website so that you all can download it. What happens after that? So it's really three steps after that. First step is download it. Second step is put it on a USB thumb drive. I think some of these screens actually come with a USB thumb drive, but if not, just grab one on Amazon. I'll link one in the description if you need that. And then the third step is just plug that USB thumb drive into your screen. That's it. Now I can go into it in a little bit more detail and kind of walk you through the steps, but you know, <laughs> That's that's in a nutshell. You don't even have to go further in the video if you know you feel like you've got that under control. So let's go over to my computer and let's pull up my website. So the website is squarebillsauto.com and I will link it in the description below. But what you want to do is probably want to bookmark this. Click the support link and in here you'll see Mark 6 slash G series support. Now Again, the Mark 6 and all the G-Series screens have exactly the same hardware and software on the inside. So all the same processor, the same amount of memory, and basically everything's the same except for the enclosure. So you can go to this area, Mark 6 G-Series support, and anything that you see here in the popular download section will be applicable for your screen. Now you'll see I've got all of the firmware versions uh, listed in date order. So the newest one will always be at the very top. Um, I've got a description of exactly what's changed in this firmware update. So you can make an informed decision whether or not it's worth it for you to do the upgrade or stick with what you've got. On the right hand side will be a download button and all you got to do is click the download button it'll pop up a new window and you select direct download which is the bottom link right here and this will download the file directly to your desktop now you'll see it is 1.1 gigabytes so it is a larger file so you will want to try to do this on a higher speed connection just so that this download doesn't take you forever. But no matter what, let the clock run out, let this download completely, and then we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, it looks like it's all done. So what I'm gonna do is open my downloads folder. And what we'll see here is that there's a file called update underscore e dot zip. Now, if it's not called this, you wanna make sure to rename it to up Update underscore e dot zip. Now, if you download it directly from the site, there's pretty much no reason why it shouldn't be called update underscore e dot zip. But if you have downloaded a previous version of this firmware in the same folder and it's there, then sometimes your system might update it 
and call it something like update e1.zip. If you move this file over to the USB thumb drive, it won't work. The unit will not detect it. So I'm just reiterating this point right here because it has already come up. Update underscore e dot zip is the file name that you want. Now you'll see this file is downloaded and yes, I am on a Mac, but it doesn't matter what machine you're on. All that matters is that this file name stays update underscore e dot zip. So you can do this on a PC. I've done it on an iPad. It doesn't really matter. The main key is that this file is called update underscore e dot zip. Nothing after, nothing before it. Make sure that this isn't a folder. You don't want to extract it or anything. Just update underscore e dot zip. It's very important that it's in that exact same file name, not uppercase, not lowercase, anything like that. Just update underscore e dot zip. What I'm going to do now is plug in my trusty USB thumb drive. And if you need one of these, I'll link one in the description, but you can just pick them up. They're really cheap on Amazon. So here you see uh, Untitled, which is the name of my USB thumb drive. I'm just going to open it in a new window. Here it is. And again, it doesn't matter what else is on this USB thumb drive. You can have pictures or video or whatever on there. Just make sure that when you copy this over, you're copying it to the root folder or the top level folder uh, on the USB thumb drive. So all you got to do is just drag it over and it's pretty much the same concept on a Mac or on a PC or on an iPad. Um, copy it over and then you will be ready to take this file on the USB thumb drive over to your G series screen. So I'ma make it last Look for the future I can't live in the past And I, I seen the picture The dot in that crash But um, thank God I ain't too cool For the safe belt My two kids in the All you gotta do is allow it to reboot And enjoy your freshly updated G-Series screen Any comments, questions, concerns Let me know in the comments down below I'll do my best to help out Cool. That's it for me. See you on the other side. Peace.